to help us understand the PACT Act and this legislation, how it's going to help millions of service members, we are welcoming in John Barry Jr., veteran and trial attorney, as well as CEO of Barry Law, to talk more about the Camp Lejeune Justice Act and the PACT Act. Now, first, can you explain these two acts, the PACT Act and the Camp Lejeune Justice Act? Yes, and Tabitha, first, thanks so much for having me. They're both very important, right? The Camp Lejeune Justice Act deals specifically with the water on Camp Lejeune. Uh, that's been a problem for decades. It's affected uh, over a million Marines and their families and civilian contractors on the base. The uh, PACT Act goes even deeper to address issues uh, related to conditions uh, and diseases from Agent Orange, as well as the burn pits uh, that, that I personally experienced uh, during uh, OIF and OEF. Uh, our post 9-11 veterans, uh, we, we burned everything. Right, that was how we cleaned up our area. And what happened was it created some airborne particles that have created asthmas, cancers, and all sorts of diseases that have affected our service members. And as a veterans disability attorney, we've had to appeal decisions through the VA because veterans were denied. What this act does is uh, it gets a presumptive condition. The same thing we had for Agent Orange, where if you served in Vietnam during a specific time frame, you were presumed who have been affected by Agent Orange. Right. It's the same thing here. Veterans who served uh, in Southwest Asia during this time, Iraq, Afghanistan, other areas, it's presumed that they were exposed. And if they have diseases and disabilities related to that, the VA should grant service connection, which means compensation for these veterans.